Hi, I'm Gwen Schoen, food writer for the Sacramento Bee. And in the kitchen today, I want to show you how to prepare artichokes for cooking. Um, we're very fortunate in California because 75% of the artichoke crop is grown right in Castroville, which is in Monterey County. And so we have artichokes pretty much year round, but the rest of the country only has them during peak season, which is February and March. So in Castro Valley, they grow these giant globe artichokes. Originally from Italy, the Italian immigrants brought them to California and, and planted them in the Monterey area. When you buy them, you want to look for artichokes that have a very tight crown in the top and the leaves on the side should be really firm and not shriveled up. Sometimes this time of year you find this little gray or slightly brown markings on the artichoke and that's actually kissed by frost is what the, the growers call it. And what happens is when the frost hits the artichoke it converts a little bit of the starch to sugar so it gives it a little sweeter flavor. So this time of year is when you can find these that are slightly kissed by the frost. So to prepare it for cooking it's really very simple. First of all, you want to take a sharp knife and cut off a little bit of the stem. And the stem has a lot of good flavor in it too. So if it's possible, leave about a half an inch or an inch of stem on the end of the artichoke. That will also remove this dried end of the stem that's left from when it was um, harvested. So discard that. Then take your sharp knife and remove a few of these uh, drier, woodier, leaves that are around the outside and around the base. They, they have a good flavor but they're slightly dry and they'll have kind of a pithy uh, feel in your mouth when you eat them. So remove a few of those, just snap them off, any of these that look split. After you've done that, the easiest way to remove the thorns, an artichoke is actually a thistle and this is the flower of the thistle. So like most thistles they have lots of thorns on the ends of the leaves. So what you want to do is remove those thorns so it makes it a little easier to eat. And you can do this with a sharp knife, but I prefer to use uh, kitchen shears. It's a little easier. So just go through and cut off the, the sticker part of each one of these little leaves on the, the choke. When you get up to the crown where the leaves are more tightly compact together, you'll need to cut it off with a knife. So when you get up to the crown part in here, take a sharp knife and just cut through the end of the artichoke so that you have all of the thorns are gone and you're not going to hurt yourself when you eat it. Then to remove the choke, just cut the artichoke in half and on the inside you have the stem part Right at the top of the stem is the heart of the artichoke, which most people believe is the best part. Then you have this little hairy section in here called the choke, and then you have all the tender leaves. Make a cut around the bottom of the choke. You don't want to remove any of the heart because that's the best part. And once you've made a little cut there, take a regular teaspoon and just lift that choke right out. and came out perfectly clean. Now, um, you can dip this in lemon juice, uh, some water with a little bit of lemon juice added to it to keep it from turning brown, or you can add a little bit of lemon juice to the cooking water when you cook it. Artichokes can be cooked several ways. You can drop them into boiling water, or you can put them in a steamer basket, and it'll take about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the size of the artichoke. These are really big, so they would take probably a full 20 minutes. You can also brush them with olive oil and put them on your outdoor grill, and just grill them face down like that until they're nice and tender, and they'll have beautiful grill marks on them, and that'll make them caramelize a little bit, which gives them a wonderful flavor. Mm -hmm.